What's going on guys? Matthew Muniz here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss the highly controversial ETF ARK, A-R-K-K, ARK Invest from Kathy Woods. We're going to look at ARK, we're going to talk about its historical performance, potential future performance, and then we're going to talk about how it fits into my personal strategy for growth, and if I'm investing in it, if I'm not, and what my actual thoughts are. Before we get into the video, I do have to disclose that I am not a financial advisor. Everything in this video is just my opinion, and the video was created for entertainment purposes. The last thing I'm gonna mention before we get into the video is that I'm a new YouTuber on the road to 69,420 subscribers. We're getting closer every single day. I just invested in a new mic to have better quality content. So if you can, hit the subscribe button, comment down below, let me know you subbed. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. All right, now let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is what exactly is the ARK Innovation ETF? Well, the ticker symbol, as you can see, is ARKK. ARKK focuses on investing in companies or stocks that have the potential to provide disruptive innovation in the future. ARK defines disruptive innovation as any type of new technology that has the potential to change the way the world works in the future or makes the lives of humans easier on a daily basis. So a good example of that would be something like Tesla with full self-driving capability in their cars. You know, potentially down the road, are we going to be able to get in our car and focus on work or something other than actually driving the car in the future. We're obviously not there yet, but it has the potential to change the way things work in the future. Maybe no longer will we need taxis or Uber. We'll just go get in our car that will take us from A to B while we can focus on other things that are important to us at that time of our life. Everyone knows that time is money and this is something that's gonna save us time in the future. So ARK is a growth ETF that has been around for a little bit less than 10 years. It came out in 2014. It has an extremely high expense ratio of 0.75%. So that is $75 for every $10,000 invested. Now the reason that it has such a high expense ratio compared to other ETFs is that ARK is actually actively managed. You're paying for a company to manage the fund and bring in and out companies or stocks that could potentially provide more value in the future. ARK isn't a huge ETF in number of holdings, but it does have a respectable amount, usually around 50. I think right now it has around 48. And if you wanted to see what holdings that ARK currently has, you can go to their fund holdings PDF. We go to this page and it shows us, just like I said, 48 of the funds. Now, most people will know some of these top companies like Tesla, Roku, Coinbase. You know, crypto is a huge thing right now. So they've added Coinbase in. Zoom, really big during the pandemic. Square. A lot of these are really well known. As you further down, you may not know these companies. At least I don't. Um, but that's one of the reasons that I invest in this ETF. And I'll talk about that later on when I talk about my personal strategy and why ARK is a part of my portfolio. Some people view this as a bad thing, and to others, this can be a very beneficial thing. Now what I'd like to do is look at the historical performance of the fund, and we're going to compare it to the S&P 500. We're going to compare it to the NASDAQ, and then we're also going to compare it to VUG. VUG is a, another growth ETF that I invest in. It's a VUG, and the reason I choose that one is everyone seems to compare ARK to QQQ, so I'm just going to choose one that's a little bit different. So when we look at their one-year history, you actually see that the three are very, very close to follow the index, and then we have ARK at the top. Now, ARK has this huge growth, and then all of a sudden it comes back down, and at the end, we're still above the performance of the other funds. However, the reason that you have such a big drop here is that's when the inflation results came out, and as soon as we realized that inflation was getting pretty high, and the feds decided that they needed to start changing the interest rates in the future, that caused a lot of scare in the markets and a lot of rotation from tech or growth stocks into other areas of the market. So we're definitely seeing a little bit more volatility in the ARK fund, but overall in the past year, we do have higher performance coming out of ARK. Now I wanna look at how we performed in March of 2020 during last year. And as you can see here, we went from a high of $59 down to a low of about $38. So for ARK, we lost about 36% compared to VUG, which lost 31%. So even though all of the funds did have a dip during COVID, once again, ARK did dip a little bit more, showing that's a little bit more volatile than the other funds. However, it took less than two months for all of the funds, but ARK as well, to get back to their previous all-time highs. And overall, when we look at the historical performance in the past five years, we can't go out too much further because ARK hasn't been around that long. But for five years, we have tremendous growth coming out of ARK. 
and the others can't quite keep up. Now, we do have to remember that past results do not guarantee future results, especially for a fund like this. One thing I do wanna mention is that the reason that this fund grew so much, especially last year, when we look at the one year, a lot of this lines up directly with Tesla. Now, Tesla is over 10% of the ARK fund. So with Tesla going up so much, that's why we had such a spike in the price of ARK as well. And then once Tesla started to drop at the start of this year as well, the same thing happened with the actual ETF for ARK. So now that we looked at the historical performance and we've seen that ARK has actually performed historically really well, we're gonna talk about future performance. Now, year to date, ARK is actually not doing that well. However, we don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Now, normally in my other videos, I've done one on R yield, one on Q yield, new C, we would look at the previous performance and then average out and forecast the future, except with something that's a growth fund, especially as volatile as ARC, we really can't do that because it's gonna be really hard to predict an accurate future value. I'm gonna show you a quick little clip of Kathy Woods talking about her personal thoughts on her ETF. She believes that if you're investing in ARC now, you can expect a 25 to 30% growth year over year for the next five years. The return, which at the peak uh, of the market and of our strategy in mid-February, we expected a compound annual rate of return of 15% uh, on average per year from our strategies. Uh, now that the prices are down, uh, that, that number is somewhere in the 25 to 30% range. Now, just because Kathy says that doesn't mean that that's what's actually gonna happen. However, if some of those stocks inside the portfolio start to do really well, so my personal goal for investing, and this is completely aside from my actual retirement plans. My retirement plans is a max 401k, a Roth IRA. Uh, my wife and I aren't doing an HSA right now, but we do have one from the past, and we're probably gonna switch back to a high deductible plan in the future to take advantage of the triple tax advantage HSA. So aside from that, I have a 10 to 15 year goal in a different portfolio, and it's a separate brokerage where I have part growth ETFs and part dividend ETFs. I don't invest in individual stocks. I don't have the time to investigate and research individual companies. So I rely on the ETFs that are passively managed or in ARK's case, actively managed to give my portfolio exposure to different sectors. Uh, and in ARK's case, potentially give me exposure to really high growth if certain things work out. Now, I understand that ARK is an extremely volatile investment. I understand that there is a high risk that I won't actually have very good returns. A lot of the companies that ARK holds don't even make any money right now. They could be losing money, but that's why it's a small portion of my portfolio. I don't have all of my money YOLO'd into ARK ETFs. I have a very slim amount. It's probably around seven to eight percent that I put into ARK, and then I have some VUG, I have some QQQ, I have some plain old S&P 500, I have all different ETFs, uh, and, and each part of my portfolio is helping me get to that 10 to 15 year goal in the future where I'm gonna have more passive income to spend on my family, to be able to go on vacation, or do the things that are gonna help us in the future. The really important part about this, and this is why the volatility doesn't really matter that much to me, is I follow a dollar cost averaging strategy. So every single month, actually twice a month, I DCA in, doesn't matter if the cost is high or if the cost is low, I'm just constantly putting more money into the market, into each of these ETFs, and in the long run, I'm hoping that they provide growth in the future. I'm gonna collect dividends in the future, and then I'm also gonna have part of my portfolio be growth, where I can take out some of those shares if I wanna spend my money on something else. So all in all, ARK does have a high expense ratio. It has high risk, but with high risk, sometimes you can have high reward. So not everyone's gonna agree with me. Maybe you hate ARK, a lot of people do. Like I said, it's very controversial. Uh, but for me and my family, a small portion of my portfolio going into ARK seems to be the right decision. Hopefully it pays off for us in the future. Now, if you like making passive income and you enjoyed the content today, please make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, Every single week on Thursdays at 3.15 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to have a new video coming out. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and have a great rest of your day.